हेलो वेलकम एवरीवन वेलकम एवरीवन इन द टुडे सेशन फर्स्टली आई इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ I am Dr. Parvesh Kumari Villian, Assistant Professor, Department of Panchagatha from the National College of Calcutta. As we know, we are celebrating this month as a Bharat Rog Awareness Month. So, with the continuity of this, we are again on the June platform to deliver our second lecture on the topic Kerala Chikitsa Padathi in the Kamba Vatha. So, it's my immense pleasure to welcome all the participants and the guests who joined from the all over the. Country to enrich their knowledge. So before starting the webinar, a few details about the NCA. So National Ayurvedic College and Hospital was started in 2014 with the joint efforts by the chief patrons, honourable ex-chairman and the late Shri Balraj Kondu sir and the director sir Shri Rish Kumar Bhuvan. And our college have a 12-acre, well-furnished campus which is affiliated from the Sri Krishna Ayush University, Kurukshetra, Haryana. So we have huge lush green herbal garden and also library containing ten thousand plus books, and we have all the furnished departments also. So I'm glad to inform you that from this academic year, our seats are also increased from sixty to hundred. So really, it's a matter of pride that we are a part of the prestigious institute. Now coming to our topic, we have a guest lecture about Kamp Vada, and we have a resource person too, Dr. Simi Ravindran, assistant professor. Uh, assistant Professor, Department of Panchakarma from the Government College, Tiruvannamalai, Kerala. So I heartily welcome our eminent speaker, who gave us time and shared her knowledge and past experience with us. I am really thankful to her who accepted our invitation in a short period of notice. So I just give the mic to our principal, sir. Welcomed and addressed, Dr. Simi, our guest speaker. Okay, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Good evening and uh, welcome to everybody. This December month, we are celebrating or giving the awareness about the Vata, as this month is observed by the Western community as a month of the constipation. As uh, Malavarodha, Malavastamha is going to be always said to be a matter of a Vata disorder. Out of the Asiti Vata, we are these many disorders and diseases are going to be prevalent. And they are going to be cold dependent always all the time. One thing we have to say: this gati and gandhana of the vata to understand is a very big task. Out of this gati gandhana, as such, when we are making another terminology is to be brought, a cytogenesis to that of the cytokinesis, the vata is going to be the most important factor one or not. When we are looking the different people. From the north and south, the sangama has to be made for this month of the Vata or the Vata Roga Awareness Program. Out of this, we have chosen Dr. Simi as uh, from the Tripura Tara, who is going to speak very well on the Kampa Vata. As we are looking out of the many of the vyadis, most commonly all the people are going to speak about the Paksha Vata. But today's speciality is we want to bring a few of the Kerala procedures, very specifically used in the Kampa Vata, so that a comfortable management towards the Vata Vyadis are being anticipated here in this. So I welcome Dr. Simi and over to Dr. Pravesh, uh, Madam, so that. Uh, this program is going to be comfortable, and after completion of this, if anybody is unable to join, I just want to keep this video on the Techno Ayurveda platform so that you can see from the YouTube Techno Ayurveda in the later course. Over to Parvesh Madam. Thank you, sir. Yes, we are heartily welcome, Dr. Simi Ravindran. She has completed her Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine from the Government Ayurved College, Trivandrum. As a first rank holder under the University of the Kerala in 2004, she racked up with the KGK Panikkar Memorial Award for the best outgoing Ayurvedic graduate of Kerala. She completed her MD in the Panchagarma Department from the Government Ayurvedic College, Trivandrum, in the 2009, and joined as a medical officer in the Indian System of Medicine in the same year. So it was actually pleasure. 
to meet her. After her nine years of service, she joined as an assistant professor in the Government Ayurveda College, Kannur, and later continued in Government Ayurveda College, Trivandrum, and further to the current institution. She presented various papers in the international and the national seminars, and she is a very good teacher, clinician, and held various other activities from popularizing the Ayurveda. So now I hand over the mic to. Our guest lecturer, Dr. Simi Ravindran. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma Thank you, ma Thank you Prasad, sir. Shall I share the screen? Yes, yes, ma'am, please. Okay, um, shall we start the class? I think it's late now. Okay, uh, Namaskaram to all. Uh, we will start the class by a, a small prayer. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Thanundari Amartha Kalashara Staya Sarvame Vinashnaya Trailoki Nadai Sri Mahavishmi Nama. I myself, Dr. Simi Ravindran, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Pajarma, Gurmana the College Tripudra. So uh, today I am um, dealing with the uh, about the treatment principles of Parkinson's disease. Nowadays, very uh, second one among the uh, neurodegenerative diseases. So uh, today I discuss about the Parkinson's disease and uh, its line of treatment and especially some of the treatments uh, as a Kerala procedure. So we'll go to the uh, subject. So what is Parkinson's disease? We all know that it is the second of second one of the neurodegenerative diseases. First one is Alzheimer's and second one is Parkinson's disease. So it is a chronic progressive disease of the nervous system characterized by you all know there will be bradykinesia, cobalt rigidity and pill rolling trauma. Okay, okay. Next, uh, we all just, we know uh, about the Lewis bodies, substantia nigra, about pathologies, etc. Uh, all these are very wide, um, and many of the hypotheses are going on. Coming to our Ayurvedic part, it will be very easy to move to like that. So, according to Ayurveda, most of the disease of the Vata are degenerative disorders of the nervous system. There will be eight types of Vata disorders are there. So, this our Parkinson's disease can be compared to Kampa Vata, Kampa Vata which is categorized among the nanatmaja disorders of Vata. So, what is the clinical symptoms? You all know about the bradykinesia. There will be pill rolling tremor will be there. That the patient uh, will uh, the tremor is very specific like this, and there will be postural instability. Uh, this uh, patient will uh, present uh, this reduced facial expression. Otherwise, uh, masked face will be there. So uh, there will be hypomimic. Uh, their expression will be reduced by time to time. Then uh, there will be hypophonia. Dysphagia will be developed after some time. There will be micrographia, but it is very difficult to know the micrographia because seventy percent of the people are not writing anything nowadays. That is one of the matter. And if the person is uh, doing regular exercise, etc., if there is primary idiopathic Parkinson's, it is uh, very difficult to diagnose it as an early phase. So uh, it will be there. So difficult in diagnosis will be there. Then micrographia, dysarthria will be there. Anosmia will be there. So festin and gait, that if the patient is walk faster with the small steps. And we ask the patient to stop like that, then uh, he is tend to fall. That will be the festin and gait. There will be pain and paresthesia. Some of the patients will tell the erectile dysfunction. So, and otherwise, some will show the high BP level. High BP level nowadays it is very easy to recognize like that. And there will be neuropsychiatric symptoms also will be there. Low cognition, etc., will be there. But these all matters should be observed and identified by the close relation only. From these, this bradykinesia and the tremor can be felt by patient, but extension of the rigidity is felt by the doctor. That why there is also that you should kept in mind. Next, this is one of the video. I'm sorry, but yes. It's government again. Because I already did it. I did my regard to a selfish banner. If they month learn a subtibitly, I would ask my birthday. My take a file to the name the Kaitri Chalurate. This is the festering gait and this is the tremor. It is an advanced stage of the condition. Usually, the uh, tremor will start like this. That is pill rolling tremor. Then, for easy to understand, some of the important thing is that 
uh, the this bradyk initia will be there rigidity will be the tremor is there this will be the triad of parkinson's disease but um, yeah, according to ourselves the this rigidity sampraapti is somewhat different tremor sampraapti is somewhat different and bradyk initia some sampraapti uh, is somewhat different so line of treatment of all these symptoms will be different so uh, a common treatment treatment protocol is difficult to assign like that so uh, we usually class way in modern uh, nowadays modern uh, science also uh, Uh, this uh, classification is also depend upon the predominant symptoms so there will be rigidity predominant uh, parkinsons there will be tremor predominant part of, uh, parkinsons some may, some this rigidity and the bradykinesia is somewhat related so they include bradykinesia also in, in the in the rigidity itself so there will be equivalent type both tremor and the rigidity type of parkinsons would be there it is very easy for our to uh, divide, uh, divide like this because we can identify the patient very easily next thing that we can uh, diagnose and make a treatment protocol according to our science source is very easily so better to divide the um, parkinson's disease patients like this next is um, why ayurveda so uh, you all know there will be pacitan is there uh, there will be sindopa is there sandopa is there uh, rope park is there many of the medicines are there but uh, if the patient is taking these medicines for 10 years etc so usually they develop hallucinations they develop weakness they have excessive salivation agitation will be there anxiety will be there impulse eating will be there slipping will be there hyperactive sexuality will be there dryness of mouth will be there less sound no sound will be there like the patient will be sit like a like a photo in the room like that they are uh, like their lips after uh, Treat, uh, taking treatment of the allopathic medicine etc nowadays nearby our neuro or neurologist neurophysician doctors also uh, refer to us uh, this parkinson's patients for treatment of the external treatments like dhanyamala dara udvartana etc uh, they usually tell us that it will reduce the rigidity etc so like that there will be complication of um, this uh, many complications are there for this taking this in allopathic medicine so ayurveda uh, make the patient a better quality of life so that we can uh, go for the ayurvedic treatment what is kambavada uh, kambavada we can relate it with avarna kambavada many of the uh, signs and symptoms are mixed so coming to kambavada um, the symptoms are kare pada tale kambam next is dehe bhramana there is nidra bhangam sheena madhi that sheena madhi can be compared with the emotional and the cognitive effect next uh, coming to the kapavrata vyana we all know that the avarna is there kapavrata vyana lakshana a kinetic rigid type of we already divide the parkinson's patient the rigid predominant type of parkinson so it can be correlated with the kapavrata vyana uh, that uh, type of disease so rigidity will be there rigidity will be there anga gurutvam will be there patient feeling heaviness of the legs etc cheshta stambha movements will be reduced vagraham it can be continuous is easily they can't pronounce easily or there will be no continuous movement of this words etc and some of the um, letters they are not able to pronounce because some ill ill type of and joining letters are not able to uh, perform that is a very important point to remember there will be freezing of a uh, gait ruksha uh, tishnada uh, so in this condition we can go for ruksha tishnada type of treatment like at udvartana tishna niruha mams recite type of vasti we can end in the uh, end, end in the treatment because oh, most of the these all parkinson's disease any type there will be uh, degeneration is there so uh, you should end the treatment with the uh, this brim on type of mams rasa vastis etc usually we give this simple mams rasa we make a soup of, a soup of this mamsa etc and give us a just infiltration elma 100 ml per day 3 days like we are giving so it is a practical uh, therapy in the uh, this palliative care usually we are giving like that so next is about the kapavrata udana that is uh, kapavrata udana both mixed symptoms can be seen so it is can be rigid and tremor both we are getting so equivalent type is uh, we can consider it as a kapavrata udana so that treatment principle you can adopt so there will be vagraha so more um, this uh, speech related uh, signs and symptoms we can see in the kapavrata udana so vagraha will be there swaragraha will be there daurbalya will be there mandagni will be there stambham kambham sheeda uh, will be there so sheeda snigda lakshanas will be more so karshyam vak parushyam ushna kamitvam nidra nasham alpa balatvam gaada varshas extra you can see in the case of uh, this um, kapavata udana 
so coming to the uh, diagnosis or coming to the uh, areas where we, sh we should uh, search the uh, literature like the different navana concept you can adopt it shira kamba will be there so uh, we can see that snayu prapta vada snayu prapta vada so uh, uh, explained about the snayu prapta vada and vebudu is also vebudu is one of the thing is also a long term complication of dushi visha uh, so toxins is one of the posts of this Parkinson's disease that, that we all know. Next about the excess use of Kadu Tikta Rasa Ahara uh, that related to trauma of the Pranavas through the sun that can be related to the um, uh, this pa Parkinson's disease. The, the, this Pranavas through the Vigaras we can see at the end of the this disease pathology. Next Ashtanga Sangra mentions clearly about the Kayase Vebudu as a symptom of aging. As a symptom of aging. So nowadays Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's this is Parkinson's plus syndrome, all we can use get as a mixed uh, disease also. So at the aging time, it is usually uh, identified. So Kamba is noted in the rectex share, rectex share, kabak share also. So these all pathologies you should con consider while treating the patient. These all patients are very different. And according to Pragati also, some symptoms will be exaggerated. So uh, in the case of Paitiga condition, we usually the patient's force because you all know about the calculations of the length, breadth, size, etc. is coming under the Paitiga. Guna. So, if the patient is having Pitta Pravati, etc., they can't calculate the distance of the something. Something like this, uh, if some material is, uh, we are, uh, a glass of tea is placed in here. If she or she is want to take that glass, the length between the hand and the glass can't be calculated by he or she. So, usually they fall forwards. Like that, for each Pragati also, Samrapti is very different. Usually, in the case of Paitiga, Paitiga Pitta Pragati patients, uh, usually we can see that the pathology or progressiveness of the uh, this Samrapti is very much quickly. And uh, degeneration is very much easily attainable in the case of Pitta Pragati patients. That you should keep in mind. So, uh, it is very difficult to write a protocol on Parkinson's disease. And each and every patient is very different. That is very important. Thing. And then Madhavagara, you all know Madhavagara. Madhavagara for the first time expounded the disease Vebadu in characterized by Sarvanga Kamba. Sarvanga Kamba means whole body tremor is there. And Shira Kamba, that is tremor of the headache is there. Then we can compare with the torticollis or anything like that. But Shira Kamba is one of the sign of the Parkinson's disease. The, and here the commentator Vijay Rekshla has further illustrated that in Shira Kamba, you should include the tremor so the limb also. So, this indicates the Gardner's clinical picture of Kampa Vada, that is, Parkinson's are well documented in Ayurveda through its scattered for areas. Okay. Then, coming to the Dadus, the important Dadu involvement is Rasa. So, Shabda Asahatum, tinnitus extra, we can see commonly in the case of this Parkinson's disease. And Ubadadu is involved usually the Snayu and Sira. Avrata Dosha is Kabha, and Avaraga is Udana and Vyana also. But the treatment principle for Udana Avrata, Kabha Avrata Udana, and Kabha Avrata Vyana is different. Okay. If you are treating um, this Sneha Vasti for uh, this tremor predominant Parkinson's, if you we are, you are using same size Sneha Vasti for, for this rigidity predominant, the, there will be increase, there will be difficulty to other disease. So, uh, this what is the Avaraga um, dosha? Avaraga dosha is Kapha and Avaraga is Udana or Vyana. That is very uh, difficult to diagnose, but it's, it's very important to diagnose because we can't get easily the uh, Ubashaya. That is, Ubashaya is Aushadana uh, Viharana Vyogam Sukhavam. That we are not easily to get. So, Cheshta Han is. Gadi Sangha, you are not about the Kahavarga Vyana and there will be poster instability. Sensory ataxia is also we can see in the case of Parkinson's disease. So, uh, poster instability is also manifestation of Kahavarga Vyana. So, we should diagnose first it is, it is Kahavarga Vyana or Kahavarga Udan. Okay. Next, uh, Kabhavrata Vyana and Udana, both in Vagraha. Vagraha or Disakriya, we can see both Kabhavrata Vyana and Udana. In the later stages, nowadays we can get in the first stage, it's, 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 it's emotional instability will be there, higher mental function, impairment, emotion, uh, inter, um, incontinence of the this emotions, etc., anger, etc., we can see memory is impaired, sexual activity is more, or, or, um, they are eager to sexual activity is also nowadays we are getting in both females and males. Mood disturbance would be there. There will be some, they are usually diagnosed at 
most of the psychiatrists diagnosed it as a um, this uh, depression. Usually they are usually occur in the early 40s, etc. 35 to 40 extra. Usually it will be the signs uh, sign of the primary idiopathy Parkinson's. So here we can assume that memory and higher mental function is impaired. So we can assume that this pranavada is also in, included in the samprapti. So coming to the treatment principle, Vangasena Samhita is for the first time straight the principles in the treatment of Kampa Vada that it has been asserted that you should do Abhinga, Sveda, Nastya, Niruha, Anubhasana, Vidyajana and Shirovasi as a measure in the um, for the treatment of Kampa Vada. So coming to the Snehana, my, uh, I'm uh, coming, I'm going on to the next, next slide because uh, my point is Kerala special Panchagama. So we are just going for the Snehana, etc. So uh, usually Snehana is Abhindra and the uh, Bahi Snehana is there. Um, we can do Bahi Snehana, Muhu Muhu Sneha Sveda is usually indicated. If Virajana you are doing, you can do Murudu Anadomna, like that. It is a chronic pathology related. Uh, many of the, this doshas, dadus, avarna, all, all all are, all are um, uh, involved in the samprapti. So you should take care of why we are selecting these type of abhindra snehavana, external snehavana, extra like that. So Upashti is very difficult to get, so you should take that like that. So external snehana, usually we are going like that. You just abhinga with, there will be rigidity will be there now. So uh, snavasanti sira, sorry, uh, uh, sneha svedam is more, more sneha svedam is necessary. So taile sangujide abhingo, masha saindava sadam, like that of um, references you can adopt it. So you can, uh, Gently massage with medicated oils like uh, Maha Narayana Thailam, uh, Kshirabala Thailam, Sahajanadi Thailam, Dhanandran Thailam, Maha Masha Thailam, and Bela Thailam. Usually we are using like that. So Maha Narayana Thailam is usually related with the neurodegenerative disorders. Shirabala is Methya Swaravarna Prasadana. Then it will induce the sleep also. Sahajanadi Thailam is especially indicated for the lower limbs. Dhanandran Thailam, you all know, Sudhiya Bala Marmastik Shatakshine Shukujdam. So Dhanandran Thailam, we can indicate if Marmakhada extra is there, injury is there we can go for Dhanundra and it reduces the pushti also because the main uh, Dravadrabi is Shira here. So Dhanundra Thailam increases the pushti also. So Maha Masha Thailam, Masha Nave, special uh, Maha Masha Thailam is specially indicated for the muscular dystrophy like condition, etc. If there is dystrophy or atrophy, is there uh, Shosha is there, you can go for Maha Masha Thailam and Bela Thailam is also you can use. Then Sarvanga Svedam, we are not intending for any this corporeal visiting, we can see in the wrist only. You don't go for any local Sveda, you can go for Sarvanga Sveda. Many, many types of Svedas are available, many types of Svedas are available. So Pinda Svedas is there, Thara is there, these all are very different, so you should uh, take according to that. Very important thing is that when these Vedas are getting to cold, these peoples are more chances for getting this chest infection, etc. That is a very important thing you should know. So. A respiratory muscles, a respiratory immunity will be weak for this Parkinson's patient. Uh, for uh, I saw one uh, during this uh, endemic season, we are usually using Dibana in uh, our area. So, sorry, Dubana in our areas with uh, this Abaraza, Dubajuna, etc. So, uh, this will cause very much respiratory infections to the Parkinson's patient that are very difficult to identify also. So, like that of treatments, that is uh, um, this Dubana type of treatment, is, we are usually doing Nastya for this Parkinson's patient. So, after Nastya doing Dubana, it is very difficult for them to uh, uh, accept all this treatment because respiratory health is very much lower in this patient. Um, this patient. So, Sarvanga Sveda you can adopt, uh, steam bath extra you can adopt, then Patra Binda Sveda, usually we are doing Patra Binda Sveda, Ruksha Sveda, extra all we are doing. Avarna is there, so Uddhartani is one of the very important thing for reducing the Avarna that you can adopt. So, usually when the patient is coming, we are usually go for this Ruksha Sveda, then uh, Ruksha Binda Sveda, then go for this Uddhartana. After that, you can uh, simply go for this Patra Binda, Snikta with Patra Binda Sveda, etc. Then, um, then go for this Pidichil, etc. Pidichil means Sega with Thaila X-ray, we are usually going. These all according to the health of the patient and also according to the climate, we are selecting. Okay, Matra was there with Sahajra the Thaila 50 ml with Sainda Velavana and Shadabushpa daily for 15 to 21 days. Usually, we are getting Matra with the pouches here, or otherwise, we are asked the patient to do by by its home itself. So because uh, glycerin syringe is there, we are just giving the patient and give patient by standard training for like that, the palliative care, etc. Matra is very helpful for the elimination of this vada alumina extra and also fecal matter, which is to be very better for the patient. So in especially in for the tremor, Matra with Maha Sneha is very much uh, good. Okay. So research studies is also going on. So Matra we usually perform it for 15 to 21 days like that we are going. So next is 
nasi karma. I already told you that respiratory health of the Parkinson's patient, we should check regularly. So nasi karma, we or Brahmana nasi you can use. That you know, Vada Vyadi, Brahmana nasi is indicated. We are usually using Purana Krita. Purana Krita is available for many of the uh, companies, Purana Krita. Narana Thaila, Chirabala, Mashadi, Kwadha Nasya. So you all know what we are discussing about the Nasa Pana. For Mashadi, Kwadha Nasya we are giving. We are making the Chira Kashaya of these Mash, uh, Masha Atma Gupta, the Kashaya, uh, two to three Kashayas are there. These are indicated for Vagraha, etc. in the Chakra Dada. So these Kashayas can be used as a Nasa Pana, as a Nasti Karma also. Better to do uh, liquid type of that other than liquids, use Thaila or uh, like, sorry, uh, other than uh, this uh, thylas, you can use other liquid type of uh, nasya that is very easy to uh, come into the mouth, etc. Easy for the patient, that is very important. Next, shirovasti is a very special type of treatment that we will uh, discuss in the video, will is um, attached here. So, shirovasti we are usually doing for like that. Uh, the, you, we are usually practicing like this. We are used, uh, usually doing shirovasti for 7 to 14 days, short 7 to 7 days. It is very difficult to call shirovasti like that because 2 to 3 liters of uh, thyla or 1.5 liter of thyla will be there. So, uh, so neck pain will be associated. So, uh, Parkinson's patient was very difficult to work with that amount of thyla. So after doing seven days shiro vasti, we are usually giving 14 days shiro bichu. Okay. Then after that shiro bichu, we are usually giving talam. Talam is just pouring this shirabella thyla in the brachma like that. That talam is a proskella specialty procedure. For seven days, then protocol is like that. Seven days shiro vasti, 14 days shiro bichu. And we are usually end uh, this, um, this procedure with seven days. Uh, this tala, tala, okay. Then ask the patient to use uh, this thyla regularly for um, head bath. Oh, oil bath is very necessary for the Kerala procedure. So like that. So uh, usually we are doing this uh, shirovasti for 45 minutes for seven days. Shirodhara you can do. But here we can see that aphingam segam pichu vasti. So uttarodram gunam. So shirodhara, uh, um, we, we can um, do our treatment results show that shiro pichu is more effective than shiro dhara. So shiro dhara with medicated liquids, milk or water you can use. Usually we are using plain jaladhara for first seven days. So because the patient will be slept very uh, very easily for uh, while doing this plain jaladhara for for whole body or in head also. After that we are using shira dhara, thaila dhara, etc. Usually we are selecting this thaila dhara at the end of the uh, that end of the treatment. So like that shira bala, maha masha thaila, maha narana thaila. And according to the condition of patient and climate, you can select this like that. Next is very important thing is that about the neuropsychiatry symptoms of the, the neuropsychiatry symptoms of the uh, Parkinson's disease. There will be memory loss, cognitive loss, anger will be there, anxiety issues will be there. It is very difficult to understand this type of patient in their home itself. So bystander education is very important. So in this condition, super ego condition will be there. Uh, ex, um, there will be uh, more excited in the fear. Fear, hunger and the sex life will be more that much excited for the, all these patients. So there will be lots of stress also for these patients. So bystander will can't be able to sleep in the night, etc. So we are usually giving neuropsychiatric cases. We are usually giving these type of medicines in the palliative care also. So we are usually giving Maha Kalyanagam Kritam, that is Shamanam. As a Shamana Aushada, we are usually giving as a 15 ml BD after food. So it is designed also to induces the sleep. Next, Indugandha Kritam also we are giving. Vidarya the Kritam also we are giving for like that. Indugandha is a better choice because it prevents the Srodha Rodham also and it is Kabahara also. So it prevents respiratory symptoms also. Then you know about the Jadi Patri. So we are usually giving, inducing sleep, we are giving the Jadi Patri Shira Kashaya. Jadi Patri, you know, this Jadi Patri we are making Shira, simply we are making Shira Kashaya with the time give it in the uh, 8.30, uh, nearly after food with hot 8.30 in the evening we are giving. So it is very better for inducing sleep and it is healthy also. Then also you can give Ashwagandha, Shira Kashayam, Shweda Shankushpi, Shira Kashayam. Shweda Shankushpi is a very uh, good choice for the asset, Shira Kashaya also. Uh, for each symptoms, you should treat like this. Some some patients they have neuropsychiatric symptoms will be not there will be no neuropsychiatric symptoms. So next thing he miss hypophonia, dysphagia, dysarthria, etc. So we are usually giving Kalyan Avalega Churnam. Kalyan Avalega Churnam is indicated in the Padavyadi Chikritsa. Um, Chakradatam. It is indicated of Mugam Unitum, Pagraham, etc. Uh, so it is, uh, uh, we usually ask the patient to um, um, learn or speak loudly, uh, read newspaper loudly like that. It's a very good exercise. 
so uh, patient have an inhibition for speaking etc losses there so we are usually mix this kalyan avale churna with kridam and honey and ask the patient to apply on the uh, tongue itself it reduces the heaviness that is some, some type of pradisarna subhav is there for this kalyan avale churna actually it is indicated for avaleha but we are using as a pradisarna after that we are ask the patient to gargle like that and then ask the patient to go for speech therapy we usually ask the patient to uh, uh, speak loudly or read newspaper like that then we are go for kshiradum so this is one of the kshiradum like that in pressure cooker we you know we make a steam with this bela churna and kshira extra but simple bela churna and kshira and after applying this kalyan avalehe churna in the mouth okay we protect uh, um, her eyes with uh, this lotus leaves etc we then ask the patient to uh, open the mouth and put the tongue outward like this like that we are and uh, we give the kshira duma like that it it will reduces the kapha in the mouth etc and will it, it increases the speech also like that this kalyana avalehe churna levana then kshira duma and then after nasya is a common protocol for the dysphonia dysarthria etc then Uh, tremor predominant. We already uh, divide the Parkinson's patient to tremor predominant, rigidity predominant, mixed type like this. So for tremor predominant, Shira Ruksha Kriya, that is uh, Snigdha type of treatment you can give. So Anvasana Vasti is the number one treatment for that. So Anvasana Vasti with Mahasneham is very good. Mahasneham is very good. We are getting very good results. We can continue this for seven to fourteen days. Then we can go for a small gap. Then again you can start like that. Next is Kunaga Thailam. Kunaga Thailam is a very good choice. For uh, this purpose, Kunaka Thailam is indicated in the Vada Vyadi Chigus of Chigusa Manjari, Ayurveda Grantha, is in Chigusa Manjari. Kunaka, you all know, it is um, Kunaka means Earthworm. So simple Sahajara, Sahajara, you all know Sahajara, the uh, Sahajara. So, we are making simple ka, Sahajara Kashaya Kalka. You all know one is to four is to sixteen. That is Kalka. So one is to four is to sixteen. That is Kalka, Thailam and Kashaya. So Sahajara Kashaya and Kalka. We are giving Thaila. Simple thaila, and then we add this punaga. You all know punaga contains thing. We collecting the punaga. Uh, usually in the rainy season we are getting avoid breeding season of this punaga. And while you are making kashaya, sahajradi kashaya, one is to four is to sixteen is the principle. Uh, this um, ratio of kashaya. Uh, sorry, kalka kashaya thaila and kashaya for making oil preparation. You just take kalka as sahajradi kalka itself. Then sahajradi kashaya. While preparing kashaya, you just uh, you should uh, first clean the uh, this. Uh, earthworm. So you collect the earthworm and put it in the lime water or in takra. After some time, it will be clean like this. Slimeness will be go. And then we make a small pottery of this punaga and uh, put it in the kashaya. Put in the kashaya. This is our sahajara the kashaya. Then make a thaila of it. Like that simple punaga thaila you can select. Uh, you can prepare your own thaila. Uh, usually we are adding prasarani kashaya also. So uh, into this preparation. So punaga prasarani thaila. Some patients having tremor more in the hand. And etc. If they are doing a job of taking telephone like they were job is having, so this for this patient we ask the patient to prepare by their itself and doing nasya for forty one to fifty four days like that we are giving. So nasya you can prepare by yourself. You can add the preparation like that. You can make the combination by yourself also. Then coming to shiro vasti, we are doing shiro vasti. Thailas neha banam. So uh, Thailas neha banam is there. Uh, it, we are, you, you can take this Bunaga Thailam as neha banam. Also, you can take. Then important three Thailas we are usually using is Bunaga Thailam. Next is Maha Kukuda Mamsa Thailam. Kukuda, you know, this is black hen. We are usually using for making this Thailam. Maha Kukuda Mamsa Thailam. Then uh, this Varuni Thailam. Varuni Thailam is there. Only Varuni uh, roots extra are using. Only single this drug is using. This Thailam we are you can use for this internal neha bar. So Mahavas, uh, sorry, uh, for Sneha Panam, Nasyam, and this Matra Vasti or Anvasana Vasti, you are using same thaila. So coming to the gait disorders, we are usually giving um, external Sneha, external Sneha, and Maha Matra Vasti, you are usually giving. So Valiya Sahajradi Thaila, Valiya Sahajradi Thaila, or Sahajradi Thaila, you can give for gait disorders that can be given internally and externally. Akni and Ama keep as a mark. That is the very important thing you should kept in mind, and we can identify the patient only by the Akni. And ama of the patient. That is very difficult to extract these data from this also, but because the patient will be uh, will uh, respond to our questions very rarely. That is also a very important thing. 
muscle weakness muscle weakness will be there you can go for shastika pindasvedam shastika pindasvedam you know this is special type of kerala pottery swedam we are using shastika rice as a pinda uh, that will be explained later so muscle weakness and atrophy loss of bulk of muscle is there you can go for shastika type pindasvedam if uh, muscle weakness is there you can go for goduma that is sweet pindasvedam that you can give so if the patient having these all symptoms will be there patient will sometime present numbness will be there sometime the patient present new, this daham etc burning sensation will be there then you, you can go for this poly neuropathy and there you only select dara and shiradara shiradara in all, each and every parkinson's patients will be different we can't write a, a, a clear protocol for like that you should extract the data nidana etc then go for age bella etc the patient then you try, try the protocol so the patient having numbness and daham is there better go for shira dara or plain dhanyamla dara or karaskara you know karaskara is there karaskara dara plain karaskara dara you can do then plain uh, shira dara you can do snigdha is needed shira dara you can do you can do kashaya dara and then you can do this uh, dhanyamla dara extra according to your choice you can select then coming to panchavarma uh, panchavarma severe kapavarna is there you can go for vamana but it is very difficult to do vamana for some parkinson's patient we are usually do in the case of idiopathic parkinson's patient we are uh, giving vamana etc so expectoration expect this nasi and having some uh, related with the respiratory muscles better to take precautions and you can you can do for Uh, this one manner then virajana you all know it is a neurodegenerative disease we can't go for a um, strong virajana etc so vishwa uh, it's no vishwa stidam dosha jayam nirasya so is shodhana is very much uh, when there is patient having bela uh, bela bela that is bela is related to its mala his mala some patients should be like that you can't do virajana and must be same time charagajale already it said like that shunya deha is there so you can do virajana vasa nitya anlomana drivya you can go for gandharva eranda sugumara eranda like that you can go for virajana then madhuda we usually prefer madhuda iliga that is padahina vasti you can select so for bela vardana etc then eranda mula kvadam bela mula kashayam dash mula kashayam we are usually using for that kalkam is shti and shadagupa shiravasti improves muscle strength you all know, know that bela varna kar vadaknam bela varna kar so uh, uh, one of the important thing is that if you want to retention of the vasti for bela varna kar etc you can increases the consistency of shirabaga okay one thing is that you can do a plain we are mixing more jala and shira and make a shiravasti uh, like that for it this is for the purisha uh, purisha for removing the purisha purisha virajanam like type of vasti we are giving like that so less and that is bela varna krut also that will not induces that much shina after vasti etc like that two types of shiravasti yeah, that can you can perform in the case of parkinson's disease the consistency will be more uh, there will be retention some time will be also more that will help to uh, increase the that will be usually we are doing in the end of the treatment when there is that much agni and ama is there you can do, do for that type of vasti vishesha payu parsha uru parvarthi jadararthi shu like that conditions we are can see in the case of adashmurda etc in that condition also and also you want to remove the purisha of the patient which not that much effort and you want virajana in that condition you can go for a less consistency of shira kasha that's only i mentioned next about the methi rasana methi rasana you should start labo bayo hi shastana like the rasayana is uh, we are usually prescribing so purve uh, vaisipma vandheva like that you should give it at 30 age itself you can go for methi rasayana not for the 60 or 70 years of age so yashtik shiram is a very good methi rasayana so we are usually giving to 40 to 41 days we are giving then make a break and like that so uh, yashtik shiram can be used vaja madhu shiram is a very good uh, combination uh, less 1 gram 1 to 2 gram we are taking brahma rasayana is more effective than chana prasham brahma rasam and chana prasham we are usually giving so Uh, we are usually giving it with rice soup rice soup or anything like that we are mixing in a carbo diet we are mixing this chana prasham and brahma rasana and give it to the patient that is very easy for them to uh, take it then shira surface we are giving 30 ml shira 30 ml um, ml of shira and 15 ml of uh, this uh, surface we are mixing like that and ask the patient to take as a nitya rasana and also shaudra surface also we are taking so 5 gram of shaudra and 15 gram of surface and mixed with thoroughly ask the patient to take like lehya like that we are uh, ask the patient and ashwagandha rasana is also we 
we are giving. This Ashwagandha, Shweta Shanga Pushpi, uh, this uh, we are usually given like that. Uh, churnas you can give, Shweta Shanga Pushpi, this Ashwagandha Churna, etc. You can give daily. Uh, along with that, you should add some sort of Goksha Churna because the, these two medicines uh, will, uh, this will medicine somewhat will occur. This rural, urine retention will be there. So to prevent that, you should you can add some uh, 1.5. Usually we are giving half tea teaspoon of this Ashwagandha, one by four teaspoon of this um, Shweta Shanga Pushpi, and one by four teaspoon of uh, this um, Goksha Churna. Like that you can give. All these single medicines, single drugs will give magical remedies for this type of patient. Once you know how to treat this Parkinson's patient, you can treat all, most of the palliative management very easily. Then coming to the Kerala special procedure, for all these treatments, there will be lots of pastis are there, there will be lots of treatments are there, sneha pastis, sneha panam, etc. is there, you all know about, well, well about that. So, simply I am here telling about the, uh, some of the simple treatment of mine, that is Takra Dara, Talam, Tala Bodhichil, Shiro Pichu, Karisha Vindaswedam and Nasa Panam. So, um, a simple thing is Takra Dhara. Dhara, if you all know about Dhara, Sarvanga Sharira Dhara. Here we are using Takra for Dhara, medicated Takra for Dhara. That's only the difference. That's only the difference. So, what is Takra? Nasi Takra Param Pinjit Aushalam Kabha Vadaje. In Kabha Vadaje disorders, Takra is the main Aushalam, you know. Then, Vada Sleshma Arshasam Takra Param Nahim Peshajam. Nastiha Peshajam, sorry. So, Takram is Vada Kabashamanam. Dhara is Pipaiti. Dhara is a Sveda. Sveda is Vada Kabashamanam. So, both these are Vada Kamanashamanam, Agri Maushtam. So, you can use the medicated Takra as a Sharira Dhara. That's a Dhara in the Sharira. So, coming to Takra Dhara, simply, it is a special Panjagarma therapy in which, a Kerala special Panjagarma therapy in which medicated buttermilk process with medicates, medicinal herbs that any herbs you can select it is used in the form of an external remedy. It can be, um, Takra is a variety of Shiro Dhara. It can be done in the Shiras and also in the full body also can you can separate and you can do it simultaneously also so takradhara is a variety of shirodhara in which medicated buttermilk is poured in a continuous stream over the forehead in a specified manner it can be also done as a kaya sega also okay coming to the dhara garpa in sahasra yoga the last chapter is deal with the dhara garpa then it is indicated how to do what is the guna of dhara then go for the what is the what dhara pati droni what all our rikshas are used for making this dhara pati then go for the dhara patra then how to do dhara parikarmi guna etc etc so after that they are explaining about the takra dhara and then go for the kaya sega kaya sega is the also here Kerala, it is known as Pirichil. Pirichil means full body, Kaya Sega, Dhara with uh, Taila only. That's the Kaya Sega. So coming to the Guna of this uh, Takra Dhara, Keshadinamcha Shauklem, Klamambu with Anudam, Dosha Gobam Shidoru, Badha Ojak Shayam, Tal Kala Sharana Paris Todanam, Mutra Dosham, Tal Kala Sharana Paris Todanam. Neuropathic related condition we are giving, uh, Mutra Dosha, we are giving Sandhina Miswadatvam, Pradayru, Aruji, Akni Mandiam, Datri Takrota Dhara, Haradi Shirasiva, Karna Netra Maikna. So it is indicated for Dhatri Takrota Dhara, that is, we are usually making this Takra, we are pouring this Takra. So medicated Takra is we are usually preparing, usually we are preparing with Dhatri. Purana Dhatri we are using Takrotha Dhara Haradi Shirasiva Karna Netra Magna. It is indicated for Shiras Karna Netra Magna. Usually it is indicated for neuropathy condition relative with the diabetes and also for in the case of psoriatic, uh, uh, psoriasis etc. We are usually doing this Takra Dhara. So uh, the end product medicine is buttermilk. So two methods are there. You should first make the Kashaya. Uh, you want to make a Dhatri, kash, dhatri Takra Dhara. So you make a Kashai of Dhatri. Then you are uh, added this buttermilk into it. So you got the buttermilk. One method is that. Next method is that you are making a Kshira Kashaya. First you are making a Kshira Kashaya. Then uh, you kept, uh, you add some fermented material into it. So it can be a curd or anything like that. Kept it overnight. In the early morning you churned it, churned it very well to remove the butter. Okay, we, we want Ruksha Takra. So, uh, we churned it very well with the Amalagi Kashaya and make the buttermilk. So, during churning, we usually add the buttermilk. Uh, sorry, Amalagi Kashaya. So, uh, this Amalagi Kashaya, we are usually preparing um, 500 ml for, uh, sorry, that will explain later. So, it is a white therapy of this Takra Dhara. So, you are using psoriasis vulgaris, we make the Takra with Aragodadi Gana. In Kamaja Vigara, Barnadi Takra Dhara, you are, we are usually taking the case of Shirashula, etc. Psychosomatic condition, we can make Amalagi Musta Takra. We are mixing Amalagi and Musta Takra. Anxiety neurosis, we are making Bala Takra Dara. Simply Bala Chusida Codifolia, we are using. Trigeminal neuralgia like temporal mass. 
temporomandula joint disorders and also in the trigeminal neuralgic like condition padri darvadi kashayam we are using padriga kashayam nerve raksha kashayam for purpural hypnosis like condition here it is a in kerala procedure for purpural hypnosis we are making padriga kashayam for like that then premi uh, draksha the kashayam is available it is in the, uh, we make the takra with insomnia in hemorrhagic disease like condition chandana ushiradi kashayam you can use in full body dhara dashamula simple kashaya jodam can be used vadhara condition like that in the case of takradara uh, in the case of severe emaciated like condition we can go for dhanandaram kashayam skin disease puritis diabetic carbuncles etc jeevandhyadi kana kashayam usually used i simply added it for uh, knowing about the multi dimensional uh, how to use the takradara in the multi dimensional effect that's what i am added then for the preparation of medicine that is very important for doing takradara today you should prepare the medicine by yesterday itself that is very important thing preparation of takradara takra 1.5 liters of milk diluted with four times of water and boil with 100 gram of skin and crushed musta this is a common method of making this takradara tied in a muslin bag and reduced to the original quantity of milk that is the sheera kashaya how to make sheera kashaya thereafter musta is sieved out and squeezed well once it cooled down this is ready milk ought to be sold overnight so next morning the curd is churned along with 1500 ml of amalingi pada to prepare takra for dara so along with this takra making the sheera kashaya we usually making 2 liter of um, this uh, amalagi kashaya so 1.5 liter of amalagi kashaya we usually add to this curd during the churning then 500 ml left behind is used usually we, uh, if you are using it for the shirodara etc after dara we use the hair with this amalagi takra that is the matter so rest left behind 500, 500 ml is for the uh, washing the hair okay then this is a churner we are usually using it is easily available uh, in the market etc churner this is dara patram uh, this is uh, mainly indicated for the shirodhara i am explaining this shirodhara this uh, um, droni has an posterior compartment and anterior compartment is there is somewhat inclined to the lower end this is the dara patra you pour like that here it is the thara is coming from here like that this is the dara stand and uh, and here it is collected okay here it is you all know about that then pura karma as a practice uh, for the uh, samrakshana raksha of the head etc so we are practicing bela taila kshira bela taila or any specific oil according to disease condition may be applied over head full body etc this takra dara will be very much immediately cooled down so before prevent patient will be get shiver etc so preventing that we are um, giving some um, hang or massage like that thai should be covered with cotton gauze etc like that you all know the patient ought to be educated about each and every detail of the procedure advantages and limitation of the treatment so takradara is mainly indicated for the uh, tremor tremor like condition we are usually using this takradara uh, patient will get very much uh, result usually we are doing a rukshasweda simple rukshasweda that is uh, pindasweda or in, uh, sorry uh, churna pindasweda or udvardhana after that immediately you can go for this takradara so patient should uh, this is shiro takradara we are explaining the patient should lie down in the supine position a small pillow should be placed under the neck and non stop stream of blood tumbles should be poured from this dara chat uh, port etc uh, it should be four angula above from the forehead so uh, the takra should be recollected and poured again this takra will not be reheated that is a very important thing after dara you are um, a patient dhara is completing uh, if you are doing the sarvanga dara full sharira dara first do shiro dara then go for the uh, sharira dara so for that patient should be lying supine position then left lateral position first the patient should sit in the sitting position then uh, supine position uh, then left lateral position then so supine position right lateral position supine position sitting position like that uh, body dara sharira dara you can do then it is after shiro dara the head is washed with the left over 500 ml amala amalagi pot and the body is wrapped with a warm sponge after that wet head should be dried and towel then rasnadi churna is applied as a talam usually uh, talam is simply one talam is simply talam means it's a depression area usually it is considered as a bregma in kerala practices uh, talam is very well explained for the children etc children etc so You, if you are simply put some of the powders medicated powders to head this is also tala if you are simply put uh, thaila that is shirabala etc you as a head bragma it can be also used as a tala if you are, can mix this um, this kachuradi churna or any type of panchaganda 
panjaravinda chona panjaganda chona etc you can mix with shira bala just heat it and apply to the head this is also tala in he in the fever type of condition severe fever type of condition we usually mix uh, lemon juice with rasnadi chona and just we heat it and apply to the head that is also tala okay like that we are usually giving this tala as a pre operative procedure in the case of sveda after removing the after this all spindles sveda sveda etc we remove the tala and then apply simply rasnadi chona for the uh, is when will be there for absorption that we are simply apply rasnadi chona so like that after this uh, dhara you can uh, put rasnadi chona in the as a tala this will be combat the cold induced by the treatment procedure patient is advised to take rest for a period same as the period of the procedure then take to the bath warm water bath is advised after half an hour of the treatment so you can use as a medicated snana jala also for these purposes usually nirkundi nimba etc we are using for the bathing purposes so season is very important for the parkinson patient respiratory health is very much important for treatment it is done in the morning hours between 7 to 10 am if situation demands it can be done between 4 to 6 pm okay it is contraindicated in shishira and hemantharu and usually takradara in kerala practices we are not stop like the 7 to 13 so no not like that. so we are usually uh, continue for 7 to 14 days usually the procedure is done for 45 to 60 minutes then in hypertension some of the parkinson patient having hypertension system hypertension will be there so ushira churna can be selected for this making takra chandana churna naligere kshiram and shira can be used so we are we can uh, um, extra coconut milk dana juice also we can use for like that condition next uh, coming to the tala pooja tala pooja is a very good uh, treatment for this parkinson related condition not for the other they are related and also in the children etc we are using uh, this tala pooja so what is tala pooja means tala means head simple tala means head pooja means we are covering the head that like that only so we, this is head we are making a medicinal paste to this area and then cover with the lotus leaf lotus leaf etc and kept for a some time after that we remove this uh, lotus leaf then the labor uh, then uh, wash with the hair or anything like that we are doing so tala pooja is a herbal massage treatment where the special herbal paste is applied to the patient's hair scalp uh, this tala tala means uh, means head and the podichil means to cover and this summarizes the treatment procedure okay so uh, uh, we can say the treatment this is mainly indicated for the pediatric manifestation we are usually use pediatric manifestation a wide range of we are already discussed with the takra dhara we uh, we all already discussed about the most of the dimensions medic medicinal dimension that can be used in the case of takra dhara that all medicines can be used also for this Uh, tala podichi you can see medicinal powder this is panjaganda churna and this is amalagi kashaya amalagi kashaya basic uh, kalpana is leba leba kalpana we make a leba type of preparation Uh, first we make a watery paste like that um, then we paste the rest of them here the patient is so autistic uh, autistic patient so one of the kerala special pediatric trust is there that is arugya reksha kalpadrumam it is mainly indicated for the kaikulangara ramavarya rajita arugya reksha kalpadrumam it is specially indicated for the pediatric cases there bala sohala the labor many of the labors are there in uh, there they explained about the kept this uh, talam overnight for vadhya disorder spithia disorder for this time like that many of the talapodichils are explained there 
and 21 days continuously you can do like that 29 days you can do like that of reference we are getting many reference text like that then we cover this with it is a sweda actually then we cover with the lotus leaf one of the main thing in manasi roga chikitsa in kotakal etc they are usually doing this talapochil very easily because uh, the we are planning if the chronic schizophrenia patient is coming so we are usually write a protocol about the woman must etc but the patient will not cooperate and also this simple uh, children autistic children also will not cooperate for these old therapies etc then uh, while doing after doing this talapochil etc patient is uh, just uh, calm down and uh, will cooperate to our treatment for like that purpose also we are doing this talapodichil so like that then uh, i already told about the talam about the kerala special procedure the length and breadth, sorry breadth of the talam is about 3 mm 3 sorry 3 cm etc so uh, while after making a cover like this medicinal paste we are making cover you just um, fill some of the kshirabala thaila dhanandra thaila for the like that also method is also there so first the patient to made it sit comfortably depending about the shirovasti we are not able easily uh, you are not able to easily uh, do the shirovasti for patient it is very difficult to hold this for a long time for uh, for like that for, um, we can use this um, shiro talabosil very easily so depending about the condition of the disease the proper oil is selected gentle hair uh, head massage is necessary if needed you can do for that like that after this full body massage also you can do then if uh, patient it is uh, condition prefers you can do all these things then after that uh, this amalagi um, mustan this bitti vera ushira churna you can made into paste and the thickness of this uh, paste is about 0.5 cm and cover the with the lotus or plantain leaves that you can use uh, in dhara krama dhara kalpa it is indicated that uh, kad, um, ka, uh, so, sorry uh, when this plantain leaves also you can use rambha uh, patram rambha patram it is indicated so this uh, plantain leaves also you can use after one and in one hours the covering of the paste and removed so um, this uh, how we can in vernix and sophlopathy like conditions will be there now so depression or after post uh, some of the liver related disorders there will be depression like that condition so in that condition we can mix this uh, paste make a paste with curd also sour butter sorry sour butter milk can be used so we kept the Uh, this paste for two two days etc then it fermented very much then we can give the paste for more kabharaka it is a method then next thing is that we are use for this autistic type of children etc we first make this you know talaposh in the early morning from 9 to 11 we make this talaposh then remove then we make another paste also up to 3 pm like that we are giving two times this talaposh per day okay after removing the paste the head is wiped with dry cloth and massaged with medicated oil rest has to be taken for two to three hours properly we usually wash with the amalagi kashaya then for stress like condition this amalagi churnam shira churnam rasnadi churnam so varnadi gana churnam we are using talaposhil for headache like condition etc then where is that much next stiffness will be there we can go for that and in somna condition also nellika chandana mushira charu usually this talaposh we are usually given the case of palliative condition for this parkinson's patients and also neuro neuro degenerative diseases we are usually giving as a daily basis our palliative nurses know how to use this uh, how to uh, do this and also we give bystander education also Uh, and this amalagi is very much cheap now very much cost effective also so in the unmatha type of conditions uh, we first stage of treatment if the patient is intolerant you can give this amalagi uh this tala bodhisha next for go for the shashti pindasweda so in normally this parkinson patients you all know about the uh, this neuro degenerative it is a neuro degenerative disorders okay so um, there will be degeneration if you, if you can if you are able to arrest the progressiveness of this disease that is also a or that is also a victory of our treatment that is a very important thing so um, uh, shashti pindasweda we are usually giving first line of treatment muhu muhu sneha swedam is indicated unlone type of treatment is indicated there will be tremor rigidity uh, that that you should take in rigidity will be reduced and also there will be muscle atrophy muscle weakness will be there in that conditions we can use for the shashti pindasweda muscle weakness condition if dridava is needed you can go for this beet that is goduma pindasweda okay so now the any extra many type of cereals or wheats uh, dhanyas can be used for first we make this um, you know this shashtika pinda for the shashtika pinda shali so we cook the shashtika shali in the bela mola pada for that you should make the bela mola first bela mola 
mula kashaya first then we mix the shastriya shali uh, it is very uh, last time to meet this shastriya shali then uh, then we make a pottery we make the porridge of that then we make the pottery of this like that okay after making pottery when we squeeze it some of this shastriya juice will be extracted from that like that there is a proper cooking of shastriya shali then we make the uh, sweda or shastriya sweda by dipping with the balamula kashaya itself. so balamula kashaya will be heat uh, shira kashaya will be heat like that then we um, dip this uh, pottery and give the sweda to the patient like that like that patient will be sitting first in the uh, most commonly abhinga we are doing then after abhinga then we in the sitting position in the supine position left lateral supine right lateral supine sitting position like seven position we are using this shastika shali pinda sweda it provides svedana snehana and brahmana so uh, one of the sweda which increases the bulk of the muscle that is Uh, shastika shali pinda sweda it is widely used in vada vishayate condition also in kerala practices uh, we are usually dipping make uh, dipping this shastika shali in the bala murak shiram but one of the thing is that in kerala uh, practices we are um, sa uh, sa taila shastika pinda sweda is doing sa taila so instead of dipping in the kshira kashaya they are usually dipping in the taila like that also we can use um, if the patient is, is not able to uh, suffer that much uh, cold etc so shivering will be there so in that condition you can go for that then at as it process inherent cold property it is also advanced in moderate vishayate pitta also so first how to preparation of medicine first you should prepare the balamula then go for the uh, cook this balamula kshira balamula kshira kashaya balamula kashaya and then mix uh, cook this balamula uh, this um, sorry shastika shali in balamula and kshira Okay, then make the pottery. For that, balamula powder, seven hundred and fifty gram of balamula is clean, crushed and boiled in twelve liters of water and reduced to three liters. Shastri sh rice cooking in one point five liter of balamula kashaya and one point five liter of milk. Five hundred gram of shastri rice should be added and boiled till it becomes thick and semi-solid. Sufficient quantity of boiled water can be used for proper cooking of the rice. This is the making video. We already prepare uh, balamula kashaya like that. this uh, usually balamula pour uh, this uh, pinda uh, this uh, shastri shali we are usually prepare in the early morning balamula we prepared in the yesterday itself balamula kashaya then we add the kshira this is a porridge Okay, the cooked rice should be divided into four equal parts and put into four pieces of cotton cloth. The three corners should be folded neatly together. You know how to make the uh, bolus. That's the size. The size of the bundle is half cotton of the moderate pocknet. Forty-five minutes to one hour. We are usually doing preferable time is the between seven to eleven a.m. and four to six p.m. Uh, then another method is anna leva. Anna leva is there. We smash the Uh, this uh, porridge into a very smooth one, and uh, we do it as a utsadana purpose. We are making a paste and apply to the bald body. We usually give in the, for the case of uh, krisha patient, that means krisha patient for those who can't afford the sweda, and also in children also we are using anna leva. For preparation is same like that. We cook it, we somewhat cook it over cooked and smash properly. That's the important thing. Uh, it is in between usually seven to eleven a.m. and four to six p.m. The procedure can be stopped if the medicine or the bolus or the milk mixture is exported. If the bolus, it will be squeezed properly, and most of the medicaments inside the bolus will coming after during the treatment. And that time you can stop the medicine. And also one point five liter of milk is there for dipping. If that is exported, you can stop the medicine. Care should be taken while preparing rice to avoid over or under cooking. The it is not cooked properly. If you um, doing this after doing this. Um, Uh, sweda we can see the scratches to the bald body that you should take in mind tie bolus firmly to avoid leaking of the contents by applying to the body of the patient the therapy should be placed in both side of the patient so as to maintain the uniformity of the procedure temperature of the bolus should be maintained that's the very important thing the pressure that the pressure you should apply direction of the movement rubbing extra should be controlled by the therapist during the whole procedure massage should be done 
during the sessions there uh, one con uh, some of the opinions is different uh, you should do only the uh, this portly uh, sweda don't do massage like that you can do massage also in some uh, area they are doing massage so bola should be gaps at the base of its stock between the base of the thumb and index finger of right hand so as to hold the belly of the bola to squeeze it up then when necessary so bola should be applied like that it should be squeezed also both the procedure and massage also you should do early so right hand bola Uh, press press and squeezing left hand massage also you can that then shivering will be usually we are getting shivering to prevent that usually we are giving abhyanga then after only we are giving this um, shastika uh, now in trivandrum ayurveda college during my uj days i usually seen pre and the post abhyanga how uh, do this after this pre uh, abhyanga and the post of abhyanga uh, they are doing uh, to prevent the fainting and etc shivering etc for the uh, patient etc Usually, the another thailam extra they are using due to the overheating, uh, the sensitive skin, pitta, pregnant patient having this type of uh, um, burns will be there. You can go for shadow the krida leban or simple honey or krida you can give. Then coming to the piju, piju is one of the very important treatment Kerala special procedures. Uh, so piju is one of the shiro piju, shiro piju, and uh, where there is rigidity, you can go for the piju. When there is patient having rigidity in the shoulder joint, you just put the sling like this. Hand sling like that, then go for the uh, pichu like that. Uro pichu we are usually giving. Rigid in rigidity that is equal to pichu. That is a very important thing. If the whole spine is having uh, stiffness, you can go for the meru danda pichu. We just apply the so whole spine. We are applying the cotton like that. Then we are going for the pichu. One of the very important thing of uh, of the pichu is that if you are want to pour oil, hundred ml of oil, then uh, pour fifty ml first at time. Then go for the Uh, after some one, half an hour, then add the rest 50 ml. Like that, you can re-pulling of the oil is very necessary in the case of pigeon. So, in the burning head syndrome, insomnia-like condition, uncontrolled diabetes patient, etc., you can go for pigeon. What happened? Hina, is it okay? Can you able to hear? Is it okay? I'm not able to say anything. Am I audible? Okay. Okay. Coming to shiro piju, uh, you are usually you can usually you can take a bandage cloth or uh, cotton piece, uh, cotton. 
pure cotton you can take anything like that you are placing pigeon means uh, you are uh, there is cotton or anything like that related to cotton or kora cloth you can take place over the head that is the main important thing a bandage cloth is taken and tied around the joint with pad in position this is done to avoid the pad from falling from its position this is done in the case of patient need to be discharged, uh, discharged or if the patient is doing treatment by self at home this can be used as an op basis or as self home we can do so uh, padding is done for 45 minutes for 1 to 1.5 hours you can do it is a post actually in kerala practices we are doing it as a post op care of shirovasti shirovasti after doing shirovasti we are usually continuing just a treatment for 14 days uh, shiro piju then go for shiro tala like that okay then uh, first we may, uh, may but, uh, usually it is very easy to prepare the shiro piju like that we take the oil like that you make the pad you just put the this pad into this uh, oil and squeeze it properly squeeze it properly then apply to the whole head then tie it properly uh, then after that Uh, one point uh, uh, total hours is one point five. Then after forty five minutes, then you add the rest of the oil, heated oil. So heated oil you can uh, place like that. That is the easy method of doing shiro pichu. Then uh, removal of padding. After removal of padding, uh, the oil should be wiped for properly. Then uh, mild swedana you can give. Then go for nastya. Uh, in Kerala practices, we are usually do nastya after this shiro vasti and shiro pichu. Takra shiro thara etc. We are doing this uh, shiro um, nastya. So swedana you can do. Vidhajana you can do. Then anuvasana vasti etc. You can do as a post. Uh, post uh, therapy so where there is rigidity piju can be done whole spine rigidity is there you can go for the meru danda piju kadi piju uro piju extra you can do then one of the very important treatment you are usually doing is uro vasti uro vasti we are usually giving like that next is uh, nasa pana nasa pana is one of the very important treatment we are usually giving as a after discharge we are usually after shashti bindas vedam we giving is as a nasa pana okay then usually we are it is uh, we are usually using the yogas extracted from the chakradatta that is masha atma gupta air and bela and hingwal sainava is anupana it is vada shamaga ojas ojas kara and anulomana so if we are on on this treatment we are doing this um, nasya nasya after that we are making the kshira kashaya and ask the patient to drink the kashaya through the nasal route you can do it by underlying position and also in by the sitting position you can do so nasa pana this is the usual method 25 to 150 gram of masha beladi yavayukta with 200 to 100 ml of shuddha jala was taken and then boiled till 50 to 300 ml or one fourth of the father remains in the vessel the dose was selected depending about the patient bela and disease so usually we are giving 30 ml on the first day like that we are increasing like that for the seven days okay then during the uh, um, in their home treatment we are the patient to do 30 ml the morning and 30 ml evening like that we are asked the patient take after that the pada is fitted with the cotton cloth that is very necessary into another vessel and then prakshepa dravya singhu and the sindava can be added the pada is left cool to till the temperature reaches to 90 to 90, 99 degrees celsius so after this nasa pana gandusha and kamala is necessary with sukoshna levana odaga after rest of 40 minutes patient was advised to take hot water bath then then sukoshna jala and lekhu aahara were given for the intake actually uh, you know nasal mucosa have that much of absorption after proper uh, rukshana sneha swedana and shodana purpose after that uh, shamana and rasayana purpose so we are usually giving this nasa pana so masha adna gupta the kashaya is specially indicated for kamba vada so we are selecting like that and you all know kshira is very good for the urdhva chaturagata vikaras and usually if ajakshira is getting you can uh, better to take this ajakshira paga uh, for this purpose so uh, treat, uh, treatment of parkinson's disease nidana parivartanam is very important treatment improve the cognitive function is very important there is learning therapy writing therapy is there speech therapy will be there so writing therapy we ask the patient to write hemiplegia patient also we ask the patient to write like that in the ruled paper ruled line paper we ask the patient to write in their own language mother tongue is very good and then um, we can see the improvement of writing writing increases the cognitive function then very important thing is that whether if you are doing want to anvasana etc shide vasante cha diva anvasa whether changes is very much affected for this parkinson's patient patti aahara vigahara is very important dinacharya exercise therapy is very very important if the patient to rest for a long time days sleep is there the rigidity will be increased agni paripalana agni and ama is the marker for the treatment then single drugs we are usually giving kapikachu ashwagandha eshtimadu premi and jadamansi these drugs shirapaga can be used for nasapana also 
Then special thailands mentioned are Poonaga Thailand. You already explained. Mark, uh, sorry, one is to four is to sixteen. Kalkam, Thailam, Kashayam. In Kashayam preparation, Sahajara, the, Sahajara Kashayam is we are usually taking. Sahajara Kashayam, we make we clean this punaga that is sarko and make a bolus of it and put it in the, during the kashaya preparation and then we make thailam if the patient having tremor in the hand you can go for the prasarani thailam okay then maha kukula mamsa thailam is there varuni thailam is there then uttama thailam is one of the thailam uh, contain karpasam masham kulatham bala nagara kwadam kalkam is devadaru rasna bala it is indicated for pada vyadi paksha gadam abhavahugam ardhan urdu jatru haram it is very good for this shiro biju etc then nishkalkan thailam is there it is indicated for shira shula but it is avarana hara if the patient having that much expressionless face exercise there you can go for abhinga and shira duma for the by this nishkalkan thailam and it is also used for the murtha thaila also that is for she just up in shiro up in the before bath etc you can use for that quantum is bella should be amarga mudga masham sneham is still a thailand shiram it doesn't contain any kalka so varuni thailand maha kukuda mamsa thailand poonaga thailand are the three important thailand in parkinson's disease the, this is the indication hasta kambam shira kambam kambo manya shira sthayam that is varuni outer moolam kutitam to palatrayam so varuni is the only uh, drug used here Nassim with Brahmi Khrida Nassim can be used in the case of as a rehabilitation, palliative care, etc. Intermittent Sneha Svera is a line of treatment. Rasayana is very necessary. Medhagar early diagnosis is very much important. Medhagar Rasayana Nassim you can use. Maha Sneha is indicated for Vasti. Pranayama is very important. Then these are the another important special treatments. Uh, we are using this Jambira Sveda for the uh, tremor related condition, the hand, etc. Jetru the Vikara. First three days, we simply dip this Jambira Pinda Sveda in Jambira Swarasa itself. That is lime juice itself we are putting for the first three days. Then go for the this Danyam or Thailand, like we are dipping like that. That is a very important in the case. Kalari Chikusa is indicated. And Patra Podala under Sveda. If you are making this, simple you are making patra bodala so for, for that you are frying this patra then you just add it uh, put this um, under that is egg into it then um, scramble it like that then you are making kiri then you make the ubanaha after doing kiri you just make the ubanaha with that um, under and patra bodala sveda itself uh, in the joint itself like that if the patient is rigid in the uh, elbow joint etc you can go for that so making patra bodala sveda with scrambled leg and make Ubanaha after the Kiri with that itself. That is a, a treatment for this in the Kalari Chigusa, in Kalari type of Chigusa. Then Patra Podla in Danyamla itself you can use deep up henga, then go for the Danyamla Dara, a special line of treatment in this type of uh, traditional bone setters, etc. So they do deep fascia massage. After that, immediately they are doing Danyamla Dara. For, uh, for reducing the rigidity, etc., this is very easy for that. Then for Utsadhana purpose, uh, we are using Karisha Utsadhana. For that, you are uh, extra, uh, don't use Yeva Husk. You are uh, many type of Husk is available, Husma is available. Only use Husma of the cow dung and mix it with Danyamla and do the Utsadhana properly. That is a very important thing. It is it should be soaked in the Danyamla. That is uh, very necessary. Otherwise, it will cause respiratory infection. Then you can make also Kiri with that also. The quarterly also you can make with that. Then Andasvedam is there. Andasvedam is mainly for the uh, making the bone st muscle strength, bone healing, etc. Recurrent fracture is one of some of the patients having recurrent fractures. So you can go for the Andasveda. Just boil the under and remove the egg, egg part, sorry, yellow part, and fry it properly and do the Sveda. Then always go for the dosha, dadu, srodha, samama, nakli. There will be lots of permutation combination between all these factors. The chronicity is very important in the case of Parkinson. Uh, this is and dadu avastha. Dadu avastha is also very, very important. Um, chronicity and dadu avastha is very much important. Then go for dosham, dadu, srodha, samama, nakli. These all are going different in some of the time. Rehabilitation, we are doing with Dremi, Nassim, and Shirabhata Thailam. We are usually asked to do Pradimarsha Nassim every um, Daily, like that you are giving. Uh, uh, if Pradimarsha Nassim is difficult, ask them for doing Parimarjana with this Krida uh, X-ray. Just simply take the heated Krida, ask the patient to uh, just wipe it with the nasal area like that. Prevention, balance diet is very important. Avoid day sleep. Use Shali, Godumam, Citrus fruit, Vegetable, etc. Uh, ask the patient to do like that. Avoid Yava, etc. Regular aerobic exercise is very necessary.
okay then yoga and meditation is necessary judicious use of anti psychotic drugs or in the medication that is pacitin etc will cause some of the um, uh, uh, that type of movement will be there so some case sindoba is necessary um, some of the muscles are very research so uh, our neurologists are also reducing the dose of syndrome of etc so um, closed supervision is very necessary for the patient uh, this is the end of my class vishajam sadhu vartanam bhadram agama shalinam abhista karmanam bhadram bhadram bhadra vilasha plus uh, be a doctor healer who is well behaved who is well versed with the complete science of healing who has achieved expertise and skills in clinical practice and research and above all who yearns individual and universal blessings so thank you ksr prasad sir sir thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to present the paper and also parvesh sir madam thank you very much i will play the videos thank you so much ma'am it was a very fruitful session for our students also so that we will go ahead and take some time for the questions now ma'am videos are left behind nasa pana etc okay okay just just a minute ma'am i just show a video of the of the nasa pana Ma'am, first, first one, Allah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. One more, more video. We have to show you. Nasa pan. So, what do I do? uh you can do it in the sitting position and also in the this type of position also you can adopt up to 50 ml you can give uh, 25 50 ml uh, 30 ml um, twice uh, to a bd like that we are giving uh, it is not that much difficult to the patient Okay, now it's time for questions. Anybody want to ask the questions for the month? I'm one thing also there. One thing yeah. I want to tell you that uh, one method of uh, performing uh, it is already told in the Murtha Thailand that there is abhingam segam pichu vasti like that uttar utram vritti. So uh, this we can see that shiro dhara is there. Why shiro shiro pichu is more good, uh, more effective than shiro dhara? In one of the uh, in text Kerala Chigusa Krama Kerala Chigusa Krama one of the text by Vasudev Vilas. Here they explain that uh, they are doing shiro pichu in Kerala by this they are doing shiro pichu like that. So um, we they uh, measure the length of the head like that then we are they are using cotton cloth cotton for cotton for cloth that um, then uh, one thing is that uh, for 7 days we are using this shiro biju we place seven layers of the cloth to the head like that seven layers of the cloth uh, like that we are giving first day they add 50 ml of thaila 50 ml of thaila on the first day second day they remove the seventh 
cloth and then add 100 ml of taila okay third day they remove the th um, fifth layer of cloth then add 150 ml like that they are increasing the dose of oil and decreasing the layer like that okay and also uh, in the last day there will be more taila and also uh, only one layer of cloth will be there so um, like that they are using and also for shiro biju the some um, Kerala Vaidya is using same clothes, same cotton pad for the whole day, whole uh, procedures, whole uh, length of the treatment like they are doing. So I think if you are performing like that, then only uh, this uh, Shiro Piju will be more better than this Shiro uh, Dhara extra like that. Okay, simple cotton padding is not Shiro Piju. Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank okay, you so much for your descriptions, ma'am. Now it's time for questions. Anybody want to ask the questions from them? Yeah, ma'am. One student raised a question that in our region, North specific, there's so much of cold there. So instead of Amlaki and all that, what can we do? We can go for Yeshti. Yeshti, Yeshti. Many of the uh, drugs are available there now. Is the available cheap, uh, cheap uh, varieties of drugs you can select by yourself? That's only this thing. HD is a medium type of drug. You can see everywhere in the tree. Every pragarna you can see HD. Okay. In uh, um, HD, uh, HD, we can see HD, Madhya Shadi Thailand is there, HD Churna is there, in colitis, HD is there as a kalka. In um, complication, there is HD Thaila Anvasana is there. Everywhere HD is there from Jwara to Avarna, etc. You can go for HD. Then uh, I usually, in the palliative care itself now, there is no matter what drug extra. That, that is important. Cheap, easily available drug is very important matter. So you can select from there itself. Okay. We just start the treatment. Okay, that's important. Thank you. Instead of family, we use the HD. One another question. Uh, can Matra Basti given in Kampavata condition, which is Sneha is idle? Uh, sneha, uh, Sarpur Majja, Vasa, Thailam. Uh, Vasa and Majja, uh, it is very difficult to get. But uh, we can use uh, uh, this Thaila, you know. The Thailam is Vada Kappa Shamanam in nature. Thailam you can select. Thailam is Vada Kappa Shamanam in nature. So more Vada Kappa um, more kapahara that type of thailand can be selected you can know that this uh, ht uh, sorry shashtika thaila and dhanandru thaila is more vada kapahara in nature while that of chinjadi thaila cotton chukwadi thaila is more uh, kapahara in nature so, so in large thailands are there the, in the, if you are um, uh, taking all these thailas etc so uh, usually we are prepared mahasnayan is very much effective Mahasnainam, then Mahagupudam Amsa Thailam also is very much effective. You just start with that, then go for mixing the Thailas. Okay. <laughs> Mahasnainam is indicated in the Abadandraga, Abadandra Chilsa Vada Gyari. That combination we are getting used to. Abadandra Chilsa is very much good for this uh, Parkinson's disease, etc. Shakha Charandi type of Vadika disorders. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Anyone else? So we go further. Okay. I, it looks like we have covered all the questions actually. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. So thank you everyone. It was a pleasure being with you today. Lastly, we appreciate your signing in and hope you learn. So thank you so much, ma'am, for your thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, much. lastly, we appreciate your signing in and hope you learn. Before we sign off, I would hope that in the next webinar. Hope so in the next week we will come in soon and the recorded version of this webinar will be available on the youtube channel of the nca college of parvala and thanks again for joining us today and we will see you the next time okay thanks, thanks. And thank, you, thank you thank you thank you so much okay